What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Another video from the infamous Thompson's Kennels coming live to you from Hood Woods. Update on the Zulu Russia pup. This is my pick keeper. Everybody was asking which one. You guys got to keep up with these fucking videos, man. But this is the the belly mate sister to the Brenda one with the patch that looked like the little dog from Little Rascals and shit. This is my pick keep. Clone of Russia. Great structure, great physique on that little pup. She almost doubled in size since I put her up on the video for the the last update. She's getting a lot of leg up underneath her. Long dog. What's going on, girl? When I look in her face, I can see Russia as clear as day. <laughs> the minute she starts doing that rolling over and want me to pet her stomach shit, then I'm going to know it's kind of creepy. But a little update on her. I was at work today. My daughter called me. She was like, Dad, Proud Mary's got a snake. I said, oh, shit. Well, I said, well, she killed it? She was like, yeah. She separated it from itself. Uh, now I understand what she was talking about. Uh, Looking like a little rat snake. Yeah. Nice bright eight part of it, man. God damn. Mary. Mary. Wake your old ass up. Y'all here killing shit? <laughs> this is my old Mary dog. Proud Mary. She's an old bitch. She don't move fast no more. She probably tired after killing that snake today. But <laughs> this is her. She's one of the foundation bitches for Thompson's Kennels. A lot of stuff was predicated off of this bitch. She is the mother to Geronimo. She's the mother to Black Mary. She's the grandmother to Blue Ivy. She's the grandmother to Black Orca. A lot of people harass me about that Black Orca dog. That's who he looks like. And I know she's old and moving slow, but when she was young, she'd separate you from yourself. <laughs> and that's a fucking fact. But... She's living out her good years. We did that last breeding with her and Mailman to produce Geronimo. She's got a couple of warts on her. I took her and get checked out. Due to her age, it's not risk. It's no. It's not worth the risk putting her under anesthesia to get them burnt off. And cosmetically, they don't bother me. It's not bothering her. You know, as you can see, how she's built. And this dog is pushing ten years old. Ten plus, actually. Because uh, Cookie's a little bit older than her. Cookie aged a lot better than Mary. But Mary... Mary had a hard life. But Mary is... Still kicking. No bites. It was a rat snake anyway. So I ain't really too concerned about it. You know, I'll show the shrubs and stuff. Um, people ask me about the snakes. I got on my community page. I done killed the whole six foot rattlesnake out here. We got rattlesnakes. Rat snakes. Corn snakes. Cotton mouse, water moccasins, however you want to word them, we got it all out here. But just a little update. And like I said, as far as the snakes go, at the old spot you could do a treatment, but out here in the woods where I'm at now, you just really want to stay on top of your control burns, is the main key. Just stay on top of your control burns and run that stuff back into the woods. So start burning from your tree edge into the woods, not towards your house, because everything's going to run towards where you want it to go. But Mary, she is the Boyle's Garner Cross. I remember when Aunt was talking about doing this breeding, and I said, man, let me get one when you do it. Very, it complements the Boyle's blood. She, pure Garner bottom side, pure Boyle's on the top. And one of the, the best crosses, because I'm still using this stuff today. Like I said, she's old, been through a lot. But she earned every she earned the right to do whatever she wants. Somebody was gonna hit me up and be like, man, you got her on the chain. She's on the chain because she doesn't want to be in the kennel. She becomes destructive, she gets highly stressed out. I mean, we we I was gonna put her in her own 10 by 10, but we put her in the in the kennel and it was just no bueno. She she wasn't raised that way. She likes to be on the chain, she likes to dig, she likes to plop down and lay down. She's an old bitch. But I'm not going to love have her last days putting her in a stressful situation in the cage where I know she prefers to be on the chain. Mary, good job for separating shit. <laughs>
I'll throw this little psycho motherfucker up here. What's going on? This little thing here, man. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, this little thing here. <laughs> that's um, Boots' daughter, Socks. She was, uh, they look all gassed out. I guess that snake must have had them going crazy. My daughter said they was going berserk out here. She didn't know what the hell was going on when she came back here. And we getting kind of hot now, so you're going to have creepy crawlies and all type of shit coming out the woods. So you guys that live in this kind of situation that I'm living in, you know, you really want to be cognizant of your control burns or putting shit down for snakes because they will come out and fuck your dog up. But update on this dude. This is Hustle Boy. I mentioned him in the last video and people wanted to see him. This is my only son, my only direct son I have off of A-Grams Manny. This would have made Hustle Boy here, a.k.a. El Negro Pablo, is what he's also known as. A lot of people remember him from the old the old videos when I would be running dogs on the mill. It'd be a dog in the cage. Probably did 100 jumps and backflips while I was working the dogs. That was him. Only bred once, only produced one pup. I got one son off of him named Jack Boy. This was mainly my preservation stock. I did this breeding with Manny and Miss Hustle. So his mother is Miss Hustle. He don't have the bat ears like she does, but you can look in his face and see that's Miss Hustle's boy. But as far as energy, work rate, everything I want in a dog. And like I said, he's bred primarily for preservation rights. I only bred him once. And like I said, he'll stay here on my yard. And like I said, this is a direct son to A. Graham's Manny. And his mother was Miss Hustle. What's going on? What's going on, son? He's only about 28 pounds soaking wet. But what he, what he lacks in size, he makes up for in heart. When I mean relentless worker, hustle man traits pulled through. So this would technically be a direct son to Manny and a grandson to Hustle Man coming through the bottom side. So it's Hustle Man's dad is Manny. So you can kind of see how tightly bred he, he is. But still functional bulldog, still works, great attitude, and outwork you. When I mean outwork you, outwork you at a high clip. Never had endurance issues with this dog. Never had to build up wind or any of that other wild shit. He's just cut like that. I'll show his son here before I get off, pick up snake parts and shit, figure out what Mary ate off the snake. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is Jack Boy. Jack Boy is the son off of Hustle Boy. His mama is Miss Trinidad, which makes him a half brother to the pups that we just had off of Paper Boy and Miss Trinidad. So we took Hustle Boy and bred him to an inbred Hustle Man bitch. Hustle Man bred to his belly mate sister is what produced Tr Miss Trinidad. We took Hustle Boy to Miss Trinidad and got Jack Boy here. More preservation stuff. Titus Balls Bolio stuff. On the yard. By far. And I have some also some extremely tight bred dogs, but not bred as tightly as these. But yet you can see still functional. He's a little bit bigger than his dad. His dad's probably about 28, 29 pounds. I probably bless him at 33, 32. But very intelligent dog, just like his father. I mean, great to have these little pieces to have in the archive that I can pull out and use because I don't really do frozen semen and stuff. So I got to have dogs alive to keep certain pro certain strands and certain things that I got going. So, you know, not a knock on people who do the frozen semen by to each his own. But, you know, I, I'm in a position where I do my little preservation breedings and those dogs don't hit the public. I just keep them and then I pull them out when I want to go ahead and fuck shit up. What's going on? What's going on, Jack boy? He's coming to age as well, too. But, good old day at Thompson's Kennels. I done hit y'all with two videos pretty close. It's getting warm out here, which means I'm going to cease to exist in a little while. Be too busy. Hey, what time this happened? Maybe like 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock? Yeah. Damn sure I got separated from myself. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed one. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. This is what the control burns look like. This is pretty much the tree line. I own all of this, but this is the tree line from where it's cleared and I got my dogs at. And you notice I don't really keep any dogs right up on the tree line. But we do the control burn. As you can see, I can walk in here now. And this is what the ground looks like after you do the burns. 
And like I said, you want to burn it so everything's going that way into the woods when you do it. And that'll run a lot of shit. But, you know, you can still treat with your snake. The, they got the, those preventive mothballs. I heard work good and they got the snake away stuff. You know, if you're in that area where you know you got kind of wild shit going on, um, please do your due diligence because them snake bites is real fucking horrible. Especially if you get hit by the wrong shit. And especially if it's one of those, see, I don't even like that shit right there. I'm going to throw some shit down in there. But, you know, if you got some wild shit going on, do you do dil diligence? Because I done seen rattlesnakes run through two, three dogs before they finally get killed. So that was the control burn and what it looked like. Y'all have a blessed one again.